Hi, it's Nat here, and today I'm going to show you how you can use your computer keyboard as a MIDI input for GarageBand, and this also works in Logic Pro X. It's called the, uh, some people call it the virtual keyboard, uh, but it's actually under the window menu here, and we're going to go show musical typing. Now, normally when you're recording MIDI, you've got a nice MIDI keyboard or, you know, some kind of device. I've got a MIDI keyboard down here. I don't think you can see it. So when you open the um, musical typing, you're just instead going to be using your actual keyboard. So uh, A is, uh, the A key is C, and you get a little bit more than an octave. So you can use your mouse as well. I'll show you how we'll just record something really quick. So then if I double click on that, I've already got it open actually, but uh, you can see in the MIDI editor, those are the notes I played and uh, you can even quantize them if you want under this region to get the timing a bit tighter, 32 notes or 16th notes. Let's have a quick listen. And uh, there are some other fantastic features on this. You've got uh, the pitch bend. one and two you can engage the modulation wheel um, so on a lot of MIDI keyboards you have a modulation wheel in varying steps and each different virtual instrument it does something you know slightly different I think it's a tremolo on this one it's a stereo phasing effect so I can do it a little bit by hitting four or max with eight and then I can also set it, uh, turn it off by hitting three. And with Z and X, Z takes it down an octave. So I hit Z once. And then X to go up. And again. And C and V change the velocity. A lot louder and heavier. A lot lighter when you go down. It goes in increments of five. So if you want to make a nice soft ballad, kind of uh, put the velocity down because there's no touch sensitivity on a computer keyboard like you would have on a MIDI keyboard where you hit it hard or you hit it soft. Uh, you don't get that, so you can change the input velocity. Uh, you can also visualize the keyboard here. Um, you, can, you can play this with your mouse, so you can record with your mouse. Um, or this can just be a visualization of what you're actually playing. On a MIDI keyboard. So that works exactly the same in Logic, Command K. Um, and you've got the exact same setup here, virtual keyboard, uh, musical typing, I think they call it. So, uh, and you can also access that from the same mix, uh, sorry, window, and hide musical typing or show musical typing. So that's a great little feature. I love that. I use that a lot. Um, it, it has a similar feature in a lot of uh, digital audio workstations in Ableton Live. Um, so you can, if you are, happen to be a keyboard player or you prefer uh, keyboard uh, playing an actual keyboard rather than penciling in notes and you want to capture a little feel or a little melody, that's a really good way of uh, doing it when you don't have access to a MIDI keyboard. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll leave some links uh, in the description where you can do a, a fantastic course and you can learn the beginner's guide to GarageBand and the complete guide to Logic Pro X. And if you found this content valuable, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you have any requests, if you want to know something about music production, just drop a comment down below. I'm getting better at checking them more regularly and uh, I will endeavor to help you out with your musical production questions. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.